Hello, my name is Igor and welcome to my tech farm. I have a tool review uh, again in this video and uh, this uh, torque wrench is sent to me by Banggood for a review. Now why do I need a torque wrench in CD printing hobby? Well, first it will be one of those two key elements which I will use in a creep test, uh, which video will come in soon in a few weeks. And the second is that uh, I'm always in dilemma when I'm changing the nozzle on my Prusa Mark 3S how strongly I have to tighten it, because I don't want to over it to damage the thread on the nozzle or on the hot end, but I don't want to, uh, uh, to have it loose to prevent any, I don't know, uh, leaking of the material between the nozzle and, uh, and the hot end. This torque wrench has the range between 2 and 14 newton meters, and I saw on Prussia website that they use a 2.5 newton meter torque wrench for tightening the nozzles. Allow me a few words about the, to explain what is the torque. Effect of the force on some length is actually the torque. So force multiply arm or length. Uh, for example, one newton meter torque is equal uh, on one meter arm, and we, if we pull it on one side with one newton force, we will have one newton meter torque. Or the same torque we can have if we have a 0 0.1 meter arm, that's 10 centimeters and we pull it with 10 newton force and 10 newton it's a, uh, a little bit rounded approximately one kilogram force and we can use this information uh, if you want to check the accuracy of this torque wrench if you are in us uh, then probably you, you are using uh, more familiar with the foot pounds well one newton meter is equal to 0 0.738 foot pounds or what foot pound is equal to 1.36 newton meters Okay, now let's see what's in the box. Mm -hmm. This is the torque wrench and we have some instructions here. And also we have some uh, additional parts to attach at the end. And uh, don't be confused, so this is the torque limiter actually. And don't mix it with the torque meter which you probably saw in my earlier videos. So this is the wrench and here we can uh, we have the scale and we can adjust uh, and the scale is only in newton meters i saw some versions where we have a foot pounds too but uh, these are only in newton meters and uh, this is how i can unlock and rotate to uh, have the settings correct settings and here i have this arm uh, where I can set the rotation, but only it limits the torque in, in, in one direction. Uh, this is on Chinese, this must be some kind of certificate and gives the accuracy on different uh, torques. And this manual is also completely in Chinese. But <laughs> we have universal pictures. And it is not too complicated. Uh, as I mentioned, with this you unlock uh, and rotate the uh, to set the to, to torque wrench. And with this you can set the directions and uh, basically that's it. We have different uh, attachments. And this is one quarter uh, connection. And with this I can set, so this uh, limit the torque in this direction, but uh, if I set the arm in the other direction, then I can unscrew the bolt, for example, without a torque limiter. And if the part doesn't want to come down, then you have to press it here and it comes down very easily. Fine, and now let's test its accuracy. I will set it exactly to 2 newton meters and lock the position. The arm has to be set in this position, okay. And let's, let's measure the torque limit. And now we place the hanging scale exactly here on 20 centimeters position from the center. That's in the middle of this part here. First I wanted to measure it in, in this position, but even it, if in own ways uh, it will have effect on this small torque, so I will measure it in horizontal position, like this.
0 0.6 0 0.59 0 0.58 I set it now to 4 Nm meters. Oh. 1.8 1.8 1.8 and our last test on 8 newton meters 1.8 And just quick test for the scale accuracy, just in case I have here 2.5 kilogram uh, weight. Hmm, 2.5 exactly. And here you can see the table, so I do not understand how can it be so inaccurate because somebody did some uh, testing with it and. Um, Theoretically, it should be much more accurate and I wanted to check the repeatability and I noticed one interesting thing If I want to set it to 3 Newton meters, I'm quite sure that I have to watch the bottom of this line Like this But if I watch the top of this line only I have to go in this direction. And now the top of the line 3 is uh, visible only. And then let's measure its accuracy. And I'm quite sure that uh, this, uh, I already used uh, branches earlier, I'm quite sure that uh, this is not the setting for 3 Newton meters. But uh, yes, in this case uh, it, it measures correctly and I'm very confused. Is it possible that somebody who did this uh, certificate uh, use uh, these settings on this wrench? Mm, I don't know. Conclusions. Uh, somebody wrote me in my previous micrometer video that it looks like I, I always get a special product for reviewers, uh, not the average versions. But here is the proof that, that that's not the case. Uh, because I'm quite sure that the reading of the scale is not correct. I know how to read the torque meter. I mean, I, this is not the first torque meter I'm using in my life. And uh, somebody did this uh, certificate and it looks like he read the scale on the wrong way. Is it? I'm not sure. Is it possible? Um, I will scan this user manual it's in Chinese. Maybe somebody can uh, check if I do something wrong. I don't know. I can do mistakes too. Uh, please leave me a comment then. And uh, about its accuracy, I'm quite happy that it's quite accurate. The repeatability is uh, important for me in that creep test which will coming soon. I checked with this torque meter and uh, always it was uh, 0 0.1 Newton meters or less the accuracy. So I'm quite happy about that. So I can use it in the creep test and of course I can use it in, in my nozzle changing um, as a torque wrench because now I know how can I set 2.5 Newton meters to get that uh, tour for the nozzle replacement. I know if you have some additional comments about this torque wrench, uh, please leave me a comment. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Bye.